Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Alois Palladini and today I like to do a dinosaur that most people will be familiar with. It was in Jurassic Park. I want to do an Indoraptor head and I'm going to show you how to do that from start to finish. It was a very interesting dinosaur because what they did is they combined the Velociraptor and then the Indominus Rex and they made the Indoraptor. But I'm just going to show you how to make that head. I'm going to show you the types of clay that you can use. You can use an oil-based clay such as this, which never hardens. And uh, he, what's great about this is once you make something, if you're not, you don't want to use it or keep it around anymore, just roll it up in a ball again and uh, you can make something else. There's also an air hardening clay such as this, which can uh, it takes, it hardens like in a couple of hours or overnight. And when you, the great thing about this is you can paint it. My preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey, which can be baked in the oven about 275 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it, you can make a tremendous amount of detail. But the great thing about this is it doesn't harden until you actually fire it in a regular home oven. I'll show you the size balls of clay that we're using today. The, I'm going to start off with these two balls of clay here. This is going to be for the upper jaw and that's going to be for the lower jaw. So what we're going to do is I'll show you, we're going to probably do this here. I want to do the lower jaw first. I'll show you how we'll do that and that's this piece right here. So what I'm going to do is take this and just, just start to press down on it like that. And now what you're going to do, think of almost like an upside down U. Let me see, I want to make sure it's about the same size as that. Yep, that's good. So what I'm doing is I'm making this right here. See that? See how it looks like an, a U upside down? And then what I'm going to do is make kind of indent it a little bit with my thumb in there. And then And then I'm just going to take and kind of make a little indentation with my thumb on the very, this is going to be the bottom part of the jaw. So we're going to take and just kind of make a little indentation there like that. See how I'm doing that? And then. I wanted to get something started that way. I want to see if it's approximately the same size as this, which it looks like it is. And okay, now that we've done that, this is gonna so it's gonna be like that. See that? That's gonna be the inside of the mouth, that's gonna be the bottom. And now we'll proceed to make the top part of the jaw, which is this piece right here. When I'm running my hand along right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take I'm going to do so we're going to kind of make like a U shape on this one too. But I'm making a kind of indenting it with my fingers a little bit so So that's the top part of the head. And then this will be the bottom part of the, the jaw. Or the actually it's the upper part of the jaw, but so we're trying to make that U shape again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to this. Yep. It's coming along nicely. So what I want to do is kind of 
try to put these together a little bit. Like that. See that? But we'll, I just want to shape this a little more. Let me see how you, yeah, that looks good. And then we'll come back to this right here. I'm going to try to make this a little narrower in here right now. See that? Now let me see. I just want to See, I'm trying to make that a little narrower in there. Try to make this a little narrower too. Though. See that? Now I just want to try to put these two together. See what. I want to make sure we get the basic shape going there that way. And what I'm going to do is I want to add a little more clay to the, uh, the back of the head here, right here. See, I'm adding that using the additive technique right there, adding that clay. I'm trying to make it a little more pliable, so this is a good way to do it. Roll it in your hands like that. So I'm adding it to the back there. Okay, let me see now. And then we're going to add a little more clay to the bottom here. I do have some more clay here. there, down the bottom like that. See that? And what I'm trying to do is make more of the neck here right now because what we're going to do I'm going to make it a nice little base. See, 
See how I did that? I, I want to flatten it out like that, push down like that, make nice flat base like that. I'm going to add a little bit more though. I'm going to add that a little bit more there. We'll flatten that out. See, I'm trying to, I want to flatten that out a little more. Okay, so that that is coming along nicely. See how that we did that? And then I'm gonna put that like that. But there's one thing that I want to do. I want to um get some wire here. What we're gonna do is I wanna put this I wanna put this inside here. So, we're going to cut a piece about this long. See that? And what I want to do is put this inside here. So, I'm going to push this in there like that. And then, we're going to put that... We're going to take that piece and push it in here. Yeah, that's... So what I did, we made a hole back there, so we're just going to take and push that in like that, but we're going to keep them apart right now. And I just want to look at my previous model. And... So now what we're going to do is I actually want to put a tongue in that mouth. So, so I'm going to take, make a little, using the additive technique, take and make, we're going to take a ball about this big right now for the time being. And we're going to make the tongue. So what I'm going to do is think of that upside down like you or, or even a it's more like a V now you want to flatten that out like that see I'm flattening that and I want to see approximately the right size So, you see how we got the V shape there? See I'm doing that with my fingers? And then you flatten out like that. And then we'll put a nice little curve into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Before we do that though, I want to rough this up a little bit so it looks like a, the inside of a mouth. So we're going to take our little sculpting tool here. See I'm kind of just going to rough that up a little bit like that. And we'll do the same for the other side. So it looks more like a mouth, the inside of a mouth. Now we're going to take and we're going to place that tongue in there like that. Push down. So it fits in there. See how nice that looks? And then what I also want to do is take and kind of make a, like a little groove down the center of the tongue like this. Like that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take another one of these 
styluses. That's what's called a stylus, the sculpting tool. You just kind of make little indentations in the tongue like that. We want to give it some texture. for the tongue. And we'll do the same for the other side. See how we did that? Now, one of the things we want to do also, I'm not going to show you how to, I'm going to show you how to do the teeth. So I'll show you how to do a few of them. We're going to take little pieces of clay and what I'm going to do is I'll put them right here so you can see the size right here. Like that. I'll just point to this right here. See how tiny those are? We're going to take these, think of an upside down ice cream cone. So you're going to roll it into like a shape of an ice cream cone. See I'm doing that between my, my finger and my thumb? And then we're going to take and you're going to place the little tooth inside the mouth like that. And then I'm going to just take the little tool and press down right there like that. See how that looks? I know it's small. It's right there. But uh, we're going to do that. You're going to do it all the way around the mouth. I'll show you how to do a couple more. So you take, roll out like that and you're going to place that right beside the other one. Like that. See that? You can see the two teeth. You're going to work the way. You're going to even go like to the front of the mouth. And I'll show you how to do one in the front. So you roll it ice, upside down ice cream cone. And see how I just put that in? You just place it in with your finger. It's really neat. So that's how you would do that, but you do the teeth all the way around like that. I'm also going to show you how to do the top part of the jaw. We want to make it look, we want to take and make some indentations like that with a stylus or the sculpting tool. That way it gives us some texture so it looks like the roof of a mouth. See that? And you got that, and we'll do it on both sides, just like that. And then I'll show you, we'll do the same thing with the small teeth again. I'm just going to take little pieces of clay, roll it between my fingers, upside down, ice cream cone. And there you go, see that? See that tooth? And what you're going to do is do the same thing. Take a little piece of clay, roll it between your fingers, upside down ice cream cone. Because you want that to have it like a conical shape. And place it there like that. See how cool that is? It's very simple. The, uh, the next step in the process would, we, we want to do is once we'd have that completed, we'd put this, these two pieces together now. So we're going to put that right in with the lower jaw there. And then we'd attach these together. So what's good about using that, uh, this wire here is it gives it some kind of structure so it will stay together. So we'll take... We'll just add a little clay there. Make sure that those are together. We'll do the same for the other side. Make sure we add the clay there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start to make the face. So we're going to work on doing the nostrils right now. So you're going to make take the stylus 
and go in there like that. See that? And then we'll do it on the other side. So I just did that. We made the nostrils. Now, I want to kind of get an idea where I want to put the eyes. Okay. So we're going to come back in. I'm going to add some more clay here. Using the additive technique here. that. So now I want to get a rough idea where I want to put the eyes. So hold those right about there. So I want to add a little clay in this general area right now. And I'll take and do the same for the other side. I'll show you. I'm putting it right about there. See, we just added the clay there. Another thing that I want to do is I want to take some clay here, using the additive technique again, take a little piece of clay like that, we'll roll that between our fingers, see that, I'm going to take that little piece like that, see that, and we're going to take, and we're going to add that right about here. See that? And we're going to do the same to the other side. I'm going to roll that like that. See how we did that? I'm going to take that and add that right there. want to make sure I so what I'm doing is attaching it like that see how we have it on both sides now yeah that's starting to look good so now what we're going to do we roughly want to put the eyeball right about there. So I just put the eye, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to put that there. Widen that up a little bit. That a little wider. See how we did that? See how nice that is? Now we're going to take a little piece of clay. Sure, they're about the same size. I'm 
I'm going to put the little piece of clay back in there like that. See how we just did that? And I'll do the same for the other side. So then we have our eye. Want to take and make sure these are And then for the eye, I want to take and put this in here and kind of go up and down like that. See how we just did that? We'll do the same thing on the side. Pretty cool. So one of the things we want to do now is I have a little piece of screen. It's like a little dish strainer I, I bought at the store and I cut it off. And what I wanted to do is for texture, see how it's got the nice screen-like texture there? We're going to take and just roll that like this on and go all around like this. We'll do the same thing up here. We're going to do that in the neck area. See that? We'll do the same thing on the other side. It's a very quick way of making scales. Because it gives that nice texture. See that? And then we'll do some of the top of the head too. That area there. And then we want to give this a little bit of texture here. So we're going to take a like make like little indentations here. See that? We'll do the same thing the other side. And then around the eyes, I want to rough this up a little bit. So I'm going to take the little sculpting tool and kind of go around like that. See that? Then we'll do the same thing with the other side. And go around like that. But we'll also do this, too. I want to make some little ridges there, too, on this one. See that? Make some little ridges. So you do it to both sides. And then we're going to take another little piece of clay here. this little ball here, and I'm going to take and put it like behind the eye here. See that there? And we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Do the same thing, put it on the other side there like that. And then we can take, make some more indentations like that on that. See how we just did that? And then we'll do it over here. And what we want to do now is I want to take and make some little spikes for the back of the head. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to roll some little pieces of clay like this. I'll put them down on the table so you can see the size.
See that? I'll show you to do like about four of them that way. So what we want to do is take these little balls here, roll them like this. Like that. And kind of make it look like a little spike of sorts. See how we did that? And then you get to add that to the back of the head like this. See that? I'll put my hand there so you can, so you can see it. See, you get a better view with it that way. And we're going to put several of those. I'll probably put maybe six or seven. So I'm going to put another one up here. See how that looks? And we're going to take and put a few more. Roll it like that. You want to make it look like a little spike. And we can put it up there like that. And see those? I'll try to do that. Yeah, now you get a good view of them, see? So you'll probably put like six or seven like that. And, you know, now that we've been handling, you'd probably come back in. Make sure you go with the screen again over here, and you go all around the neck, the top of the head. But uh, the way the, the final product would look, see, I'll show you on the final end of the head. See the beautiful tongue in the mouth there? You can see inside there. See all the beautiful teeth that we did? You go all the way around on both sides. See how we did that? You made the two nostrils. See how we had that? There's, there's one other thing that I want to do, too, is I noticed that, uh, that I did to this one. I want to put some little indentations up here on the head right here. So I just want to add one more thing. So we're going to take, I had an area here where I kind of made little indentations like this. Like that, right there. See how we did that? And we'll do the same thing for the other side. Okay. And we'll just use the little stylus, the sculpting tool, and make the little indentations like that. Almost like you want to make it like that. See how we did that? And you do the same thing to the other side. See if you can see it. Now we'll go back to the, the, the finished one. And see now how we, we got that little area. I made that little indentation with the little holes. And then you have the same on the other side. See how we got all the nice eyes. See how we got the nice spikes up the top there that we made. And I'll just rotate it around so you can see all the spikes and everything. But that's what the final version of the Indoraptor head will look like before we paint it. I do want to thank you for coming to the show, Creations of Clay, today. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.